Hey everyone, so good to see you. How are you all? Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on and watching me yet again. I really do appreciate it. Hi to all the newbies. My numbers have jumped quite a bit this week. It is so great to have you here. Welcome in and enjoy all the fun along the way. So, you will be seeing this on Friday. I am, of course, of not filming it on Friday, but you know what? I have to grab filming time when I can, and yes, I have to batch film when I can. Um, I have a busy schedule outside of YouTube, and I need to squeeze it in so that you guys get daily content as much as possible. So, Friday content, what does that mean? It does, of course, mean that it is time to reveal the next stage of Poppy the Pixie. Now, this is a collaboration done between myself and Christina over at Bella and Gennetto. If you are not familiar with Christina's channel, it will be down in the description box below. We both have playlists um, regarding this collaboration. This is actually the second collaboration that we are doing. The first was called Manfella, Mantha and Bella. So Manfella versus Koji. Koji was a lovely dragon that we made together bit by bit, week by week. And that playlist is on my channel and hers. And we also have each other's videos on that playlist. So they are all contained in one easy access place. Um, and this time it is Manfella versus Poppy the Pixie. And it was you guys, our family members, who picked which um, item we created this time. And you guys picked Poppy the Pixie. So I am going to delve into my bag and grab my book and give you a reminder of what the book's version of Poppy the Pixie looks like. So this is the gorgeous little pixie that we are both making at the moment and every week we make different bits of her until after the series is done and when she is complete we do a reveal to you all. Um, I am not doing the same colours as the book. I have explained in previous videos that normally my OCD will not let me deviate from the colours that the pattern has. Um, I am trying to take baby steps into letting go of that kind of control and I have actually picked different colours to what the picture shows. So, and I have actually been really loving it. She looks completely different in the colours that I have picked. Um, and she looks equally as beautiful and equally as lovely. And Christina is doing other things with her Poppy the Pixie. And in fact, she has her little daughter involved with hers. So if that piques your interest and you're intrigued to know how can Christina's daughter be involved, then please do go over and check out her videos. They are awesome, they are fun, and it is another little extra twist on top of something that we are working on together. So yes, this is the lovely Poppy. The first week we made her head and her body. Last week we made the hat, the hair and the wings. So which part did we make this week? Well, would you like to see? So I'll pop the book down just a second. And of course it is from this book, Unicorns, Dragons and More Fantasy Amigurumi 2. This is the book that we are using and this is a one to two star pattern. Koji was a one star, Poppy is a one slash two. Okay, so let me show you my Poppy and let me explain how I have gone about doing this week's segment. So, are you ready? <clears throat> she, to me, is coming out super pretty. And here she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Now I know I'm biased because I made her, but I really, really do think she is absolutely gorgeous. And side note, as I was making her, Mike looked over at, um, to see what I was doing. And he said, if you didn't have her little bottom underneath, she would make a really lovely Christmas tree topper. So this pattern could actually be um, tweaked to have a completely different purpose. If you change the colours up to be a bit more Christmassy, 
then yeah, why not? She certainly could be a Christmas tree topper and I really do love that idea. And also, if you use thicker yarns, she'll be a lot bigger as well. Currently, from the tip of her hat to the bottom of her petticoat, I don't know, must be about 10 inches maybe. I haven't actually measured her. I might do that in a second. But yes, so this week we have done her beautiful little petticoat with that beautiful frill all the way around and we have done her little dress on top with all the little pretty embroidered flowers on the front as well and I think she is absolutely gorgeous I am so very very pleased so if I get the picture from the book up again you will see that she looks completely different the same but different how cool is that right now I need to get my hands figured out there we go so of course she doesn't have any arms and legs yet but she has got all her other bits and pieces and I really do think that she is absolutely gorgeous I really do love this petticoat and I love the fact that the dress is separate to the petticoat as well I'll show you at the back she has got the two layers. Now, in order to do this petticoat and this dress, I will demonstrate from the back as well. We actually had to pick up stitches that were left over on the body and we had to crochet it upside down. Oh, excuse me one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. So sorry about that. A spam caller interrupted my filming. How very rude. Right, so where was I? Oh yes, so we actually had to pick up stitches on her body and we had to crochet her upside down like this in order to work up to the bottom of the petticoat. And then after we had done the petticoat, we then had to pick up yet more stitches around the body that we created and work up the dress as well. So all of these two layers were done with Pixie hanging upside down. It was a little awkward in places, it was a little frustrating, but I managed to do it. And then of course you all know that sewing isn't my strong point and then I had to embroider all these beautiful little dainty flowers on her dress. I think they look okay, I'm not disappointed in them, I think they could be a little neater, but you know what, it's what makes it unique to me. I really do love how pretty she is and actually I was in Zoom um, making her and um, I didn't have a home for Poppy, nobody in my house had asked to have her, um, nobody I know I think would want her um, so I put out the question uh, or I put out the statement that, um, or I think actually I was asked um, by somebody, you know, who's Poppy going to go to? Has Poppy got an owner? And I said, no, she hasn't. She's, you know, free and available. So one of the lovely Zoom ladies has asked if she could have her. So Poppy, when she is finished, will be going all the way over to Sweden to live with the lovely Rita over at Lena's Designs Rita. I will put her channel link in the description box below as well. Rita does have some content and she is um, trying to reach her 200 family members at the moment. So if you're not familiar with Rita and her channel, please do click the link, go over and see if she is your cup of tea. And of course, join her family should you wish. But yes, Poppy will eventually be getting on a plane and flying all the way over to Sweden to live a lovely, happy home with Rita. And I'm so glad about that. I am more than happy to send it to Rita. Um, I'm just glad somebody's going to get some lovely use out of her because I could put her up on my shelf. She could be in my background, but I would much rather that she gets a bit more of a loving life than just sitting on a shelf. So... She will be Rita's eventually, and I am so glad about that. So yes, guys, just to recap, like I said, we have done the beautiful petticoat, and we have done the beautiful dress with the embroidered flowers. 
So I hope you like my poppy this week. Thank you so much for coming over and checking out my progress. Please do not forget to go and check out Christina's over at Bella and Tinetto. Hers is looking equally as gorgeous. And actually we have a wonderful supporter, Alison, who is making it alongside it with uh, making it alongside us and is sending in a photo of her progress also. So yes, that will be, um, Alison's photo of her make will be over at Christina's. So please do go and check it out if you wish. So for now, guys, we are going to leave it there. I will be back with Poppy next Friday to reveal the next stage. I am so pleased you came over and spent some time with me today. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you very, very soon. Remember, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your friends and family and get some good quality crafting time. And I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube street. Love you guys. Bye.